going on YouTube? I'm here in Hilo, Hawaii, and this is probably where someone sleeps sometimes. A lot of homeless people here. I'm just crashing here to make a quick vid. I want to say that your life goes wherever you put your attention and your focus. So let this video be a reminder to get clear on what you want. Write out a list of 10 or 20 or 30 things that you want in your life, things that you want to be, do, and have. And then read that list out every day or rewrite that list out every single day. And notice how over the course of a week or a month or a year of rereading that list and rewriting that list, things change. Your desires change. Your desires are in flux. Your desires are always changing. Just like everything in nature, it's always changing, always winding. Sometimes you want this, sometimes you want that, sometimes you no longer want this, sometimes you no longer want that. So just be okay with the change. Be okay with change of, of heart, change of direction that your life is going. But just know that the direction your life is going is a result of where you're putting your attention, where you're putting your focus, where you're putting your feelings and emotions. Whether those good emotions or negative emotions, that's where you're going to get the pull in life. Your, your emotions are your magnetic pull. So. I personally love to focus on health, fitness, positive emotions, like-minded friends, great weather, great fruit, and as a result that's what I get and I share that with you on my YouTube channel here. I like to share what works. So really quickly before this battery dies, I just want to give you guys three ways of feeling better. First thing you got to do is just set the intention to feel good. As soon as you set the intention, you start seeing ways of feeling a bit better. Maybe you want an extra five minutes sleep. Maybe you want to go hang out with your friends. Maybe you don't want to go hang out with your friends. All for the reason of feeling good. Do everything for the intention of feeling good. When you're feeling good, you're not a burden on anyone else. When you're feeling good, you are an uplifter to everyone else. You're setting an example for everyone else. So that, hey, they're like, hey look, that person feels good. If they're feeling good, monkey see, monkey do, I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna find a way to feel good. We learn from example, we're social creatures. So you're not only helping yourself when you feel good, but you're helping everyone around you when you feel good. Second thing is to focus on health. Seriously, get your health in order. Maybe you want to go on a fruit diet. Maybe you want to do a juice feast. Maybe you want to go to the farmer's market. Load up on the fresh fruits and veggies. Focus on your health and your actions are going to reflect where you're focusing. And the third thing would be to focus on your fitness. Go for some long audiobook walks. Saturate your mind to get your body moving. Go for some 15-20 minute runs. Just to run the block, you know? Maybe you start with a five minute run. Something short, something sweet. Go to the gym, do some push-ups. Don't even go to the gym. Do some push-ups in your, right now as you're watching this video, do a few squats. Just focus on your fitness, man. Get strong, it feels so good to be strong. It's not a punishment, it's a reward. Those are three things right there. Focus on feeling good, setting the attention, focus on your fitness, and then focus on your health. Those three things, I gotta go, the battery's about to die. I should've charged it before I came out here to make this cool video for you, but it didn't. But parting is such sweet sorrows. So I'll say goodbye until today becomes tomorrow. Adios.